We got Frenzy fans coming in hot tonight. Sit back and relax for the Frenzy Fan Strat Chat. Hey, Mario Carters and Frenzy fans. Welcome to our channel. In this episode, we've got kind of a hybrid of... Oh, wait, no, we're just doing Strat Chat. We're, we're just not going to do any pipe pulls. Unless we're someone gets excited. We were talking about maybe doing some pipe pulls, but I think we're just going to do a Strat Chat. So we got a Strat Chat tonight with Hero of the Skies and Big Brolo. Welcome. Hey, guys. Hey. Thanks for having us. Yeah, same. Thanks for having us. It's been, it feels like it's been too long. It's been. Yeah. So this is the first time I think that uh, Big Brolo and ourselves are not in the same time zone Seriously. during a recording. And it pains our heart a little bit, but then we get over it. Totally. And <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're glad that you guys are staying up late. <laughs> yeah, thank you. The sun's still up over here, but. Uh, in the future, we'll be able to do it earlier too, but I just. Um, I was hanging out with my sister, so. Far, far away. <laughs> she lives like an hour away from the cabin we're staying at. So it just took me a while to get back. Yeah. So thank you for your patience with yeah. my life. Did you guys handle the jet lag well or? Um, so actually I'm still on Eastern time cause I'm still working for my company and I still get uh, like these 8.30 and nine o'clock scheduled meetings. That's like 6.30 in the morning, six o'clock in the morning Ooh. for me. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> I'm still kind of getting up early. Jet lag is always, like, it never affects me going back. It always affects me coming forward. So like if we had to be on this time for like a couple weeks and then go back to Atlanta, that's where I would struggle. Yeah. But oh, I'm well, good. Well, at least for Frenzy Fanboy's sake, like, um, you know, you start work really early, but you finish very early. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. There's so, only the plus side. <laughs> so, I, I finish my day around like two o'clock in the afternoon, which is just kind of nice because it's like, wow, <laughs> we've got like a lot of time for the rest of the day. Eh, I'm kind of tired for the whole time, but you know, whatever. And then I'm still busy just working, like... <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> he plays Mario Kart while I work. So then it's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. So let's start talking some Strat. What do you guys think of this uh, Piranha Underwater Tour where everything like steering is no longer, there are no more rules. Okay. It, it doesn't It doesn't matter. Before we hear from Big Brolo, I want to hear from Hero only because Hero is <laughs> like the biggest PD fan in the world. So I want to know, like, mm. how are you liking the tour? Is it living up to your expectations? Yeah. Exceeding them or falling short? Um, so are you guys talking about the track or just the tour in general? Let's, let's talk about the track first and then okay. the tour and then Petey. So the track, um, I'd say I like Corona Plant Slide. Um, I like how you're able to get tons of extra item boxes. I know Frenzy Fanboy is looking shocked, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I do like it, believe, believe it or not. I mean, the underwater physics, I can see it's a little bit tough. I feel like the R version is more tougher because for some reason, um, you're sliding off to the right, sliding off to the left at times, but overall it's pretty good. I mean, I'd say it's better than like Cheap Cheap Lagoon stuff. Okay. But, Cause like for Piranha Plant Slide, um, I feel like you're more, how do I say this? I feel like it's half, half where it's like you're half underwater, but you're half, um, like on the air. Whereas like Cheap Cheap Lagoon, it's like you're mainly underwater. So. Okay. So yeah. And, and then what about, um, the tour in general? Are you liking the tour? Um, it's kind of hard for me to say, because again, I do love PD. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy and thankful he's here. But at the same time, um, with regards to ACR, I don't like it because uh, 12 out of the 36 tracks I have to grind are boombox. And I really despise boombox yeah. so much. So, it's hard. Yeah. And I'm going for my final top 100 for this tour. So. Wait, your final top 100? Final? Yeah. Wait, are you retiring? I'm going to, Hero's going to be on a little hiatus. Okay little for the whole school year mm -hmm. <laughs> right <laughs> okay and so, yeah. does hiatus mean like not in the game at all or just like frenzy fangirl normal play <laughs> <laughs> ffg normal play okay cool cool i like that yeah it's yeah <laughs> i i won't be i won't be doing top 100 1000 anymore i'll just collect my gifts and if i have time do right so yeah cool that's exciting 
but yeah. also really sad. You'll still have time for stretch yet, right? Don't abandon me, hero. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay if you guys want to cry now if you won't see me for a while, so. <laughs> and what about uh, the items? Petey, the, the pipe cart, and the monstrosity balloons that make it so you can't see anything anywhere <laughs> while you're gliding? Um, so the glider doesn't do that much for me in terms of coverage. Okay. Um, the card gives me, I think, maybe two or three tracks, um, including like this new Piranha uh, plant slide. And um, for PD skill, I was actually hoping it would be Giant Banana because as was stuff that was saying, it's the year of Giant Banana. So it would be nice if he was Giant Banana, but hey, I'm all right with Boomerang. I'm just glad it's a top four skill, so. Wait, is it the year of Giant Banana or is it the year of Boomerang? Uh, it feels like it's more the year of the Boomerang. Let's see, we've had Vacation Luigi, we've had PD, and then Volendom. And then for Giant Banana this year, we've had... Pinja? Pinja, Rosalina Chef. And DK Bisu, do you want to look like him in there? A bronze me suit. It was a... Yeah, me suits. Nobody uses them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's more the year of the Boomerang. Okay. Yeah, How about yeah. it's just the year of the bees? Sure, yeah, year of bees. <laughs> Anywho. So yeah, um, yeah, so for this tour, <clears throat> I didn't like some of the tracks for ACR in general. Like I didn't like Sky Garden, Yoshi Circuit, specifically Yoshi Circuit. It's my number one least favorite track ever. So yeah. because there w there's no top four skill and, you know, worst of all, there's no you know, second shelf coin boxer. So like you have to rely on bottom shelf. It was such drag. I was, I hated it. <laughs> That's rough. Yeah. What about you, big bro though? How are you liking it? So for me, the track is a lot of fun. I like, I like that the tracks, I'm going to consider that they're evolving, meaning that they're not vanilla tracks, meaning that they're adding more uniquenesses like different pattern no different paths to go on different mechanics different little tricks or novelties with them so to me they're keeping it fun and interesting by adding these i guess advanced track mechanisms right so for me it keeps me more engaged as a player i mean other than that i mean they're just stuffing in others you know tracks in there to fill up a tour so um i have fun regardless um, I do really do, do enjoy the track. The T track's a lot of fun. The R track I have no recollection of, to be honest, to talk about it. And the N track with the extra boxes was a lot of fun. So I think in the whole, I mean, it's got a little bit of everything. It's got the new wonky mechanics that we saw with uh, the water in, what was that? Uh, not Mushroom Gorge, the- Cooper Cape? Yes, Koopa Cape. Um, that one was a little wonky too, but still you can over, um, you can you can uh, counteract that or you can, uh, uh, What's the right word I'm looking for? You can um, overcome that. With this particular track, the thing that I feel, especially when I'm uh, grinding the T version, is that the um, it feels more on rails than any other track. Like you really don't have much control. So on one of my runs today, where I was trying to get a boombox run, is that after I get the initial boombox on the first box and now i'm um, now in first i can't really sand it's i finding it really hard to possible sandbag back to like fourth or fifth to get back into a potential boombox configuration mm. the game does, does not allow me to because a the, the the paths are narrow the pipes and channels are very narrow so you can't really like ram into the walls back and forth like you would in other ones to sandbag a bit while trying to maintain a combo mm -hmm. so there's that difficulty um i guess you can kind of like kill yourself on the gliding area, but then you lose combo. I didn't really think about that yet, to sacrifice the combo to try to get back in configuration. But um, long-winded answer, I I'm enjoying it. It's, it's a cool track. Okay. Um, I have not pulled for Big Meat Pete yet, so I don't know if I am going to pull for Big Meat Pete. So Pipe 1 does not look very appetizing due to the fact that I have a lot of coverage on all the things in there. Okay. Um, I know that with the new glider, with the, it's a banana glider, which is now kind of like piqued my interest, especially if you're a giant banana fan, because in a typical, because with the new po bonus points added in there, it's almost a thousand points that you can get just from the glider. 
So if you get like a good giant, giant banana run, I mean, that potential glider now can give you another K boost in points. Hmm. That's cool. Because it's 30 points per hit of banana. So you, if you get a good 30 hit plus type run, that adds up to about a K. Yeah. So going forward, I wonder if there's going to be any tweaks to how glider items get readjusted in weight evaluation. Not sure. Hmm. So. So what is your favorite glider to use with a giant banana? Well, now it would be anything that has a banana, but okay. I don't think I don't think I've ever aligned it that way. And looked at, hmm, I have to take this glider up and see the overlap with the potential giant banana because even if you get this banana glider, I mean, what's the max overlap you're going to get? One or two tracks with a giant banana driver. So but I mean, if you can make everything aligned that way, and that's what's cool about this game because you can build your account any which way. But as us senior account holders, we kind of just picked certain items and ran with it, right? Yeah. Because it helps your coverage. So I've now hit that wall in my account where I can't just take things up to six just because it's new anymore. Because I don't see the point of spending nine plus tickets on an item to get two tracks yeah and that's it you know it doesn't seem like a very cheeky investment so i really try to dissect it and be like if it's got four initials right off the bat i'll gamble on it okay. and i feel like if you wait so long like you know you 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 pull for an item out of a pipe right and you sit and you have it on your bench for like you know three or four tours by then you're missing its prime and then when you finally commit to it, it's already like in the rear of your mirror and you're like, wait, why did I spend all that tickets on there? It's not doing anything anymore. So that's why I'm happy that I went all in on Pinja when I did, because I've been really both Pinja and um, Rosalina, uh, no, uh, Volendam, Ro Rosalina Volendam. Yeah. Um, both of those I took early. So I've been reaping those rewards tour after tour. So I know their end is kind of in sight so trying to figure out what's the next duo so do you ever invest strictly with rank in mind or are you mainly looking at the like whole of your account i'm more so th there's two ways to look at it for me so is ranked winnable and if it's not winnable i don't even waste my time with the tickets that's how I am. um because i can spend all the tickets in the world and i'm still going to finish what second third no there's no point I'll take the sixth or whatever and call it a day. Sometimes so for me, well, I usually just try to, can I hit sixth? Because sixth is that sweet spot for me because you still get four tickets and you just go down one spot. Not a big deal. So um, for ticket wise, I, I only invest if A, can I win it? And B, does it make sense for my account? Probably more on the B than the A. Okay. I like it. So speaking of winning ranked, oh, go ahead, Hero. Did you have something you wanted to tack on to that? Oh, no, no. I just wanted to ask you guys, how are you enjoying this tour overall? <laughs> I don't mind but, it, but I really have not been playing. Like, What's I, what's the group that you wanted to, to start up? Oh, yeah, the group. Oh, my PD Pity Party <laughs> emotional support group. <laughs> so how do we join? Is there any donos we have to do? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody just dono to my therapist, Bill. <laughs> okay. How much we're looking at? <laughs> I think she's about like five thousand a session. <laughs> five thousand, okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, honestly, okay. So I, I think it's just I find this with our life, or at least with my life. I have busy seasons with like work and other things, and this is like whenever I have an extreme busy season, Mario Kart just kind of becomes more fun than competitive for me so i feel like i'm more in like the fun stage where like i'll play to get my coins most of the days some di days when i have extra time like i'll grind and have enjoy it um but i have like no pressure on my like i have no pressure to do anything with it right now so um between moving and just business right now i'm just gonna have fun with it and yeah i think i think if i were I feel like I would feel differently about it right now if I were trying to place first because this tour just in general, like my loadouts are not in my favor at all. Um, last week, I think I think when I was doing the calculator, I had to invest, how many tickets was it? I don't know, without any investments, you were around like what, 82, 85,000? Yeah. And you had someone with like 115,000 in first? Yeah, so in order to even get top three, I think I would have had to invest like 
I think it was like 12 tickets. Like, and I was, I just wasn't feeling it. So mm-hmm. like Big Brolo, it wasn't winnable in my mind. And even like, I don't know, I took 12. So I think because of that, like, I'm not loving it, like from a competitive edge, but as far as just like the beauty of it and like kind of having fun with it, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with it. Yeah. How about well, you? I think that's important for you guys, where everybody who's listening is like, this game's supposed to be fun. Totally. And I think a lot of us lose track of that and turn it into a professional gaming account where we suck a lot of life into this game and forget that the core function is to have fun. Yeah. So I think my only fear is that we're into that. Yeah. 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 Like I'm having a lot of fun. My only fear is I feel like with these PD courses, you really do have to grind them because like you were saying big brother like they've upped the skill level necessary to like perform really well in them like they've changed the dynamics of it so i feel like in order to actually get really good at the courses you have to invest the time which i mm-hmm. haven't so i feel like i'm gonna have to play like catch up on these courses like learning the lines and doing like all the competitive stuff like when i'm actually going for acr again or like really wanted to get ranked and it happens to fall in my rank in the future. But like right now, I just, I'm just having fun. Well, so. the good thing with T is that I think you don't have to do a thing to get 150 action, like nonstop combo. I think you can just put the, the game down and let it run its course because it's literally just like a, a roller coaster on, on rails. Right. Yeah. But the go- I don't know if I've ever said this out loud. I don't know why I would never say this out loud, but I just haven't. But Ghost Valley, I know that it's kind of a simple course. But I think that's the course that brings me like the most joy. Like I love the Ghost Valley courses. I love the way that they look. Like if you put like the dark hop rod on it with like a gold character, like I just think it looks stellar. Like I love it so much. So I'm having a blast with that one in ranked this week. But yeah. the B courses, they're just hard. I'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, I raised that track twice. The first time I tried to do a coin box run on it. I think, no, I tried to do a, a pinja run on it. Yeah. And I was like, oh. So I don't know courses like what people can say, oh, it's this course and it's that course. I don't know what a course is until I open it up. I'm like, oh, it's that course. Yeah. So I had no idea. I just know it's a ghost value. There's a bunch of them, right? Um, The ones I like are the ones with the more turns and hops. And it has, I guess, those little like little coin rings after you kind of glide a little bit. Yeah. Forgot that this ghost value was a really short one. So I tried to do a Pinja run. I'm like, this ain't going to work. Right. So I banded Pinja the very next try. And then I went with uh, Ninja and I pulled off 155 action boombox coin frenzy run. And I'm like, okay, done. Wow. Yeah. So wow. that was like 100, 127 or 137% past that, whatever my, that thing was. It was ridiculous. Wait, what do you have I your dry bones gold at? Dry bones gold at? seven he's seven two okay and what's your pin jet eight three okay okay and your ninja shy guy or sorry just your yeah just your normal ninja shy guy seven two okay i want a little ham on that special pipe <laughs> that's awesome so did you guys end up getting the pd me suit last week yeah i did thank god Wow, good for you guys. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I smashed them. You what? I smashed the competition. Uh, Pinja took no prisoners. Oh, yeah, yeah having them at 8 and 1400. Yeah. yeah. I think Pinja is my biggest regret as of late. I still only have them at like 3 800, and I see him pop up so much. I'm like, I feel like I've missed, missed the boat. Yeah. What about you? How are you liking the. <laughs> Yeah, I'm judging, gonna... judging by his laugh, he's like, yeah, I'm loving it. Right. <laughs> he's like, don't ask me. I don't want to be negative on the channel. <laughs> I, I, I've, been, I've been a little bummed. I was really, the only chance that I had to get to the Piranha or the PD Piranha me suit was last week. Because uh, this week I don't have a top shelf driver essentially for the PD Piranha T. He has Bowser Doctor at level one. Dr. Bowser Dr. level Bowser. one. So I'll probably be using like Chemic, <laughs> which is middle shelf which is weird like it's been a long time since a rank course hasn't had a top shelf for you that's yeah you haven't at least been willing to take the like level four yeah so and i was really close on the last day of getting getting into first but the someone ended up investing taking pinja to full eight and triple slapped and got like eight thousand more points and i had positioned myself to be able to get first if i would have spent 
pulled more on the special pipe and spent tickets on Pinja and on the Dark Hop Rod mm -hmm. and on the 8-bit 1-Up. Um, but it would have been like over 10 tickets just for the me suit that honestly I'm not going to use. I just want it for the 10 base points. Yeah. And right now the difference between 10 base points, because I have I have all the suits. It was just a little tough to surrender to this isn't this is gonna be the first one that I don't get. So Okay. I don't have the question mark. So you're not the only one. <laughs> yeah. And I'm kind of thinking as far as like the base points go, I think that they're gonna They've mentioned that they're going to cap out how many base points, extra base points that you can get for your me suits. And I think that they're going to have more me suits than what that cap is. And so cool. if you miss a we'll me, we'll find out next tour, won't we? If they have a me suit, right? There should uh, be two. Yeah, there are going to be two. But how would we find out? Well, if they're viable, then there's that one because it isn't isn't this one uh, with the PD me suit? Doesn't that put you at the Limit? The yeah, it puts you at 1600. So next, the next me suit that comes out, we'll know if it goes 1610. Well, yeah. somebody will find out, not me. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to see. But 1600 sounds logical. Yeah. Well, so the thing is, is they add 210 points going from uh, one to two and two to three. And so if they were to keep that, then uh, 16, 10. it would be 1610. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see. But it's just another boomerang driver. And <clears throat> I just can't, I can't stomach doing boom boxes. Like Sky Garden T was just abysmal. I spent like 10 hours on it and my best run didn't have any type of uh, boomerang, anything like frenzy or normal. <laughs> Hmm. And it all—it was like two coins and the mushroom frenzy or something. <laughs> this was this was like the first time in, I mean, for my rank where I had to use all boombox tracks for all three of them. Yeah, it was yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It's so hard, especially Sky Garden T and Choco Island Two T. I hated it. Yeah. I don't think there's anything that feels better than like a double boombox run. But there's nothing that feels worse. Wait, did I say that wrong? Then a, then a negative boombox run. <laughs> negative. Have you had two bo uh, two boombox run? No, but I've watched other people do it, and I just get so excited oh, okay. for them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Living vicariously and watching others perform it's well in so the game exciting. is so exciting for me. <laughs> and then you imagine what it would be like. No, I actually have had a double boombox run, but I took like eight or six or something like that okay so it didn't really count um <laughs> but it felt good doing it either way there's nothing better than it but there's nothing worse than like grinding for hours and hours and hours and not even getting like anything close to it so mm -hmm. yeah now last week i didn't i did uh on chaka island 2t i used shy guy ninja and i just settled for a double coin frenzy run you know the old school grind right um and then Sky Garden T, I, I hated that track, but I just, I don't even know what I did. I think a boomerang and something, maybe a boomerang and green shell, maybe a boomerang and a coin frenzy. I didn't really take note of whatever I got in that one. So, but I was up and ranked by like at least 15 K. So I didn't really care about trying to grind out a boom box run. Yeah. yeah. This rank though is a little bit different. I was coasting in first for, um, the first day and a half uh, and I thought it was going to be a repeat of last week because I have really strong loadouts um, this would be the first tour that I actually didn't have to level up anything so that was kind of nice everything just kind of fell in its uh, little slot and unfortunately due to computer issues I can't really share my screen very well so I'll just talk it through so um, I'm at like 123k and some guy just came out knowing he's got a very strong lineup he's got seven threes like everywhere um he's at 130k okay so i'm content with just raising the right the white flag and say okay i give you know six tick i already got the uh the pd me from last week so i'm not like in a dire need to get him you know get a dupe for him so six tickets is nice but if i were to be looking at my account 
taken um um god i can't call her what i call her um <laughs> that evil and all yes uh, boomalina uh to seven three is not a bad idea because she's been strong she really has and if i do that I can possibly overtake him and go to like 131k, but it doesn't mean that he can't just outgrind me later. And I feel that with that particular track, I mean, that getting a high score or high high action counts is very easy. I mean, you just got to grind a little bit, get a boombox run, and then just hopefully string something else along. Other than that, I mean, you can get high action counts in your sleep. So, what cart are you using on the Piranha Plant Slide T? The tropical truck. What level did you take it to? Six two, because it filled a lot of nice holes. Yeah. Stuff for the stuff for the proof of that. Good job. See, I didn't get the tropical truck in like I, I have the green the green pipe cart now right now, and I'm wondering if I should invest in that because I have that and the cheap charger at level two. Those are my. Uh, if I were to pick one, I'd roll with the the newer one and hope for future buffs. And it's a little bit of a chunky one, so it's not bad. And I think the tropical truck is like that perfect size. It's, it's like the oh, what they, I, I got so many names for. It. So like I call it the Ninja Sausage Cart. Um, it's whatever that came with the forty hour pack and the, the the Ninja Tour that just happened a while back. Yeah. The Armored Rider. Oh, so, yeah, the, the Warrior Wagon. The, the other one, the Armored, the Armored, uh, the Armored Rider. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Yep. Okay. AKA Ninja so, Sausage Truck. Like yeah, the Ninja Sausage Truck. <laughs> so I took that one up pretty quickly, pretty high too. And um, anyways, it's got the it's got the perfect girth that I feel is perfect for driving in the game. It's not big where you feel like you're clipping like like walls, but it's girthy enough to get like good coin coverage. And I think it handles really well. So the tropical truck kind of like checks that box for me. Gotcha. Cool. Right. So, so yes, if I take if I take um, if I go uh, seven three with uh, uh, Boomer Boomalina, and uh, maybe just kind of go all ham on the tropical truck. Yes, I can probably take first. But I just don't think spending all that tickets just to get a dupe is worth it, and the extra 20, 20 uh, rubies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like decisions like that are always so hard. Like this is a constant battle I have in my mind where it's like both of those would be very solid investments for your cart, taking it to, because it would be taking it to level seven, triple, is that what you mm-hmm. said? Yeah. Right? So like long-term, I feel like they would be solid investments. So it's kind of like the mindset of, well, do I have my tickets literally just sitting in my account not doing anything for me but giving me like the freedom in the future to go or do i like allow it to start having like compound interest by investing it? i always struggle with that because i feel like i value the freedom of being able to like go in on something when i want to um then like pinja right like I, so i have enough tickets right now i could have like when pinja came out i could have totally taken him to like level seven triple capped right away right but i haven't i still have those tickets and because of it, like I've suffered and ranked several times where had I just done that with Ninja, I would have been totally fine. But I feel like it's such a gamble. So I don't know. Oh, everything is a guess. Cause like it's people who a- pulled for Samurai, right? Boomerang, yes, oh. next great thing. Right? You know, like where Samurai. do you go, where do you go, you know? Yeah. But um, it's always a gamble. Yeah. Uh, I felt that Pinja was worth the gamble because he was the first boom, uh, uh, giant banana drivers since like a two year hiatus, you know? Yeah. So you know that they were going to like love on Pinja. So, but I also feel like Pinja's at his pinnacle. How much more can he possibly do? And now we're going to start seeing like, you know, the slow, the, the, sl- the downward slope of Pinja. Yeah. And it's interesting, especially with uh, like doing these MVIs and seeing like the different, um, what do you call it? Kind of like the patterns and the behaviors, like actually having the data in front of you as far as just like what the community is using. It's interesting because there's kind of like two tracks that drivers will go on. It's like the slow burn where like nothing happens to that item for like weeks, maybe even months. And then all of a sudden it becomes like super popular. And then there's the other track where it's just like bull and Dom, where it's like she's in everything or Pinja where he's in everything. And you just like have that FOMO about it. But you never know, like, it sucks when you get one where you think it's going to be like a heavy 
like hitter and ranked or ACR and you go all in and then it just sits on your shelf. Yeah, the, that's worse feeling than boom boxing. Yeah, and uh, you guys are talking about like, you know, taking risks and stuff. Like I took the Sakura origami glider and yeah. and at first it was, it didn't do that good, but it, it was actually the MVP this tour because it got Piranha Plant Slide regular and the R. So I was like, thank, thank God. Yeah. It actually paid off. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think that was the last glider that I took to six. Okay. Yeah. And I was wondering, Frenzy Fanboy, when are you taking Meowser to eight? Yeah. So <laughs> you're, a huge, you're a huge Bowser fan, man. Yeah. I'm having a hard time spending tickets, period. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the next uh, Bowser badge, Bowser tour. Uh, that's... I'm playing like the super long game. I hope, I hope that that game that I get to play is before 2023, because <laughs> it's kind of painful. <laughs> um, but you're almost to the point where you'll start say, spending tickets again, though. Right? Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Well, because here's the thing: you wanted to be. Able, are you okay if we not like? You want to be able to take two drivers from not like you not possessing them to getting them and taking them to level eight triple cap right like that's yeah. your ultimate goal yeah so, like he wants to do that in so one I'm trying tour. to get the ticket stash to be able to accomplish that but you're almost to that stick ticket stash so once you hit that ticket stash will you actually like whatever your surplus is start spending i don't know like right now i think i'm saying i, I could easily say like oh yeah you know just as long as i have 44 tickets of each of them you yeah know, i should be fine but then it's like I can easily see myself saying like, oh, well, okay. So I was actually thinking about this and I'm glad you brought this up okay. <laughs> because the reason that I want to have the two is because whenever there's a new Bowser, I'm going to take him. And then right now my thought process is, okay. And then that's when I invest in the gold me suit. Can I chat? Can oh, hold I on, hold okay, on, hold okay, on. Okay, okay. But I can easily see myself if Mario decides to do this, if there's the Bowser me suit that's that comes out that same tour and I'm getting closer to getting three things to eight and triple uncapped Here, then, okay. then I don't know if I'll like give myself permission to spend the tickets down to the two if yeah. I really want to get to the three to be able to do that Here's, or, yeah you go for it hero no, no, no go ahead go ahead I don't want to well, I was gonna say I want to challenge you on this for some reason. Like my gut is just like you silly head. But what blows my mind is okay, okay. There's like the mental warfare of the game, right? Like, and I feel like you go through it a lot more than I do with the mental warfare of the game. But with mental warfare of the game, like last week, like you taking second last week was so hard on you. Like trying to hold back and restraint and not invest in tickets because like you wanted the first so bad, right? But it blows my mind that even like reserving your tickets the way you are, like you're consistently taking at least like fifth or higher. Like, I don't know the last time that you had to like actually take a true loss. Now I know not get, I mean, I know that if you don't get first, you're technically losing, but like your account's not suffering by holding the tickets. Um, now, if you were trying to go for top 10 or top 100, you typically get top 100, but the last, I think that would be the only thing lately, right? Well, no, you don't typically get top 100. Never mind. That, those are the grinding days. Okay. So I can I can I fairly this. easily get uh, top 1,000 if I'm yeah. not driving 3,000 miles during the two weeks yeah. of the tour and hoarding tickets. <laughs> so that's I, I guess that's the only way that your account's really suffering by hoarding tickets is the struggle with ACR if you don't have an extreme amount of time. Right. So you're holding off for the next Bowser badge tour thing and being able to go for top 100. Uh, yeah, top 50, maybe top 25. And okay. we'll see We'll see how it goes. There, if, if there's a top 10 in the cards, like if as I'm progressing through, it looks like it's a possibility, then we'll see. But I've never like even like dipped my toe in that pond. <laughs> And after seeing uh, like Studfit, who's always kind of hanging around, yeah. you know, 25, 15, 11, whatever. Um, you figure one of them could have thrown him a bone, you know? 
<laughs> no, they're competitive. It's like the Olympics. You can't just ask oh, the person God. to throw you a bone. It's like, hey guys, I've been preparing for this moment since I was a little baby. And they're yeah. like, hey, I do all these cool videos. Just you know, let me have one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so pretty much to summarize, obviously you're waiting for uh, the gold me, uh, the Bowser me suit, and a Bowser alt, let's say. What if Nintendo gave you two Bowser alts? Um, so yeah, so that's a good <laughs> question. But then I would probably uh, allocate the tickets to bring uh, two of them to seven. Okay. Right? Or like a six and a seven, because to take something to six is like what nine tickets, but then it takes eight tickets to go from seven to eight, and so I feel like using those eight tickets instead of going from seven to eight to only get like the two thousand extra points per race, race, I'd get more out of it. And again, completely depends on the tour and the coverage of everything. Like, yeah, I, I know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I know how to do what I need to do. <laughs> I just don't know what I need to do right now, if that makes sense. So totally. the thing is, is I would much rather have plenty of tickets instead of having spent like two on Pinja here and two on a dark hop rod that I may not actually use in that tour. Or, you know, like right now I'm just trying to set my account up um, to be able to leverage as much as i can when the time arrives well how far out do you think the next bowser tour is with us just getting a dr bowser yeah so that really wasn't a, i mean how many rosalinas and and daisies are we gonna have i mean a lot right she's like, amazing that, that i don't i don't really see the validity of that comment yeah but she's she's a goodie not a baddie baddies just don't get a lot of love <sighs> they need to though Mario. Hey, Mario listens to all of our videos, so now's your chance to, you know, make a case. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. I feel like this game, just the entire game, is a gamble. Like your entire strategy is based on the next Bowser alt. And what if it is the pill skill? I know they're not gonna give another Bowser, but like what if it's the leaf? What if it's like, yeah. what do you do in that situation? That's, you know what I mean? Like, then, you're like, then I just wait. Then, then I just wait again. Oh. Okay, so if I get you enough tickets to actually take three, to three items, so essentially nine items, drivers, yeah. carts, and gliders, if I get enough stash to do three completely maxed, then everything excess that I have in tickets over that, I'll be fine with using. I don't believe you. Okay. You said that about two. <laughs> I know, but did you hear my logic? I know, I like your logic. The hoarding game, because right. I'm sitting on like almost 40 glider tickets right now. And I'm like, I need to spend them on something, but like nothing seems to pop up that I need. Not even the, so. uh, what about the 8-bit 1-up glider? I have, no, I have a very strong feeling track. it's going to be like the Wonderful Wings, which is just a monster. And as good as the Wonderful Wings this is, I have all those tracks covered. Yeah. For some reason, like before before level eight hit, like I think the glider ticket was the scarce ticket for a lot of people. Apparently, it was never scarce for me. I was swimming in glider tickets. I have so much glider coverage. Like I think I have like twelve tracks I don't have coverage for. So I'm looking for that one one glider to come out that fills like three of those holes or four of those holes. Then I'll invest in that one. But other than that, I've just been. I need to start transitioning more to level seven or level eight type mentality with the gliders and i'm having a hard time doing that yeah because i need to pick a pillar and say that this is going to be the one that i'm going to just surround around i've hey, done no. that with carts i've got yellow off-roader i got ninja sausage and now tropical truck those three are going to be my three pillars and as of right now there's only one overlap track and i'm really happy that that worked out that way now tropical truck might pick up more overlap but at least between ninja sausage and uh yellow off-road i've been doing pretty good with that that's cool well to make you guys happy next tour it won't be an underwater track so frenzy fanboy hopefully you'll get ecstatic no did you see sammy's video today Oh, well, I it's did, but again, shoot. you have the option of choosing that path. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. So don't Here's worry, thing, all's it's... good. Okay, there's actually two levels of frustration with water. The underwater, I'm actually okay with because it just slows you down in every direction. 
the water that is only like to half your wheel well, that has like a fast current that completely takes over your your steering mechanism and like just throws everything out of whack. That's the most frustrating part of the game for me right now. Mm -hmm. So if it's under like completely submerged in water, I think I think that's workable, at least for me, but I absolutely hate like this one foot of water junk that they have. Like it, it, it there, there's no purpose to it. Yeah, it's a, it's a it racing is. game. It's, it's not a submarine uh, like sailing game. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it because Daisy Cruiser, again, like you have the option of choosing that path. And besides, the underwater section is literally like three seconds and then you go back up. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, it's a little splash. But the, yeah. the only thing that scares me with the water section is that it's like with Cheap Cheap Lagoon. Yeah, Lagoon. Is that when you jump and then you have that weird floating and weightlessness and you lose combo every stupid time. When you go uh, unless you have, Yeah, unless you have like a mini turbo charged up ready to release halfway through, which, you know, that defies all of physics mechanics, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm that's my only it. fear with this one is that because you you drop into it and there's that weird like floating of nothing until you hit something and then you kind of like get out of it right so is it like either that or get clocked by floating chairs and tables <laughs> what's the course where you go off and then like you're going in the, like you're going to land in the water and like all the coins are like a big circle that you like land in you keep the like R the R one because then oh, there's the yeah. other one where you're going and then you're about to go underwater but it has one of the dash panels and if you hit it at a certain angle yeah. like you don't have that float feeling if cheap cheap lagoon gets dropped off the track list i would not complain yeah i, love I hate water levels period any game any to any of them i love zelda until majora's mass had that swimming level I'm like nope i'm not playing this game no more i <laughs> hate swimming levels <laughs> Even in the original Mario, you remember those? You remember how frustrating those Mario levels were? The worlds where you had to swim. I love yes. those. And you had to like, oh, like, like kind of go Thanks, up and hero. down. And there were the octopuses that would go up and down, and then the fire yeah. that goes through. I love and those. It's very but challenging, minute, but I like it. Yeah. But the minute you grab a hold of a green shell, you're you're like normal. You're like swimming nice and peacefully. Mm -hmm. But if you lose that green shell, you're like a drunk swimmer in a pool of swimming. Goombas. I would like to know how you know this. <laughs> Have you ever experienced this in your life? Being drunk swimming uh, with Goombas? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I, I've been to college. I was in a fraternity. <laughs> yeah, he definitely has. He definitely experience. Has. Okay, okay. <laughs> <sighs> so, Hero, what's your take on the 8-bit uh, one-up? Did you go all in on it, or have you avoided it? I just bought it three times before I went all in on PD. So um, it doesn't do that good for my account so far. But again, we've seen what happened with the 8-bit mushroom. It's got fantastic coverage. So maybe this could be a repeat, hopefully. So, so I, haven't, I haven't gotten it yet. What would you guys advise me to do? Knowing that like I haven't spent a lot of money in the game lately, so I have a little bit of a, of a budget I can invest in something. I mean, if it does good for your account, go for it. I mean, that's that's what it comes down to. Like, I look at what initial tracks it gives you, and if it gives you like at least three, maybe. I mean, if it gives you three check marks, I mean, it's worth the gamble. So, do you have top shelf coverage on Mario Circuit Two R, T, Piranha Plant Slides, Sky Garden R, Chocolate Island Two R, Choco Island Two, Rainbow Road One R, Sky Garden? What was the question? Yes, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes. Okay. Wait, how do you do that? So, but what's what's the level? Like, what what do you what do you consider like the criteria to getting a course? If that course doesn't have a level six, is yes. it a course that can be gotten? Yes. So, yeah. for instance, uh, just to kind of uh, uh, go on and different tangent, like the Light McQueen cart, right? That cart gives me Coconut Mar R Coconut. Yeah. Coconut Mall R, Coconut Mall T, Sky Garden, and Sky Garden T. And two of those tracks are level one tracks. So Coconut Mall R and Sky Garden, I have a level one cart. The other two tracks, I have a level four cart on Coconut Mall T and Sky Garden T. Now that might've been 
something I toyed with, but right away, this one cart gives me four upgrades if I take it all the way. So that to me is a solid win in filling holes. So I think anything below four is worth it. anything level anything above anything at level four or less is gaining a track. So five is like could be something that's gonna just pop up some point, you know? Yeah. No, so I, no go ahead. Okay, so question for you on that. Because here's what here's a problem I run into, because I love that philosophy, but I'll find myself saying like, oh my goodness, okay, I want this because it'll give me four tracks or whatnot. And I'll get it and I'll still keep it at level one thinking I'm gonna wait for the moment when I can do that, right? Like when it makes sense to do that. Then another thing comes out and I do the exact same like analysis and I'm like, okay, this gives me four. And then they overlap. <laughs> so it really doesn't. Like so, how do you balance that? So what are your uh what are your gliders so let's look at the 8-bit one up mushroom what are your gliders from mario Sega to rt like what glider you're using i pulled so, up my phone so we're looking at my phone now because hero had some good questions to help me figure out this 8-bit mushroom deal okay so let's uh, start it over again so let's do mario Sega to rt okay so this would kind of be my what would you, well i i use the calculator to figure out but eight I either have that guy at 8,450 or I have this guy at 4,490. Okay, so judging by those two, you would go with the super one because it gives you higher bonus and higher combo time. Totally. All right. All right, next up is Piranha Plant Slide. All right. The regular one. That one will go with Ninja. Oh, okay. sorry. Same glider. Okay, so 449. So, Super Mario Kart glider, 449. <laughs> All right, next track we have is Sky Garden R. So that'll be the Toad Head Cup. Oopsie. Okay. So we got Volandong, that one. And then probably the Glinting Glider, level 6, 595. Okay, six one five nine five. All right, the next track is Choco Island Two R. Okay, do you know off the top of your head where that one's at? Uh, not really. <laughs> That's cool. I will look. Does Big Rollo know? No, absolutely not. <laughs> where are all my savants? You know this. There thing. it is. Where? Go to the dry bones. Oh, that one? Oh, no. Uh, I told there, it it is. there it is. Oh, totally. Toad. Okay. Oh, it's the one with Black Birdo on it. Yeah, Black Birdo's fun. Dream Glider, 6595. Okay, 6595. Show 2R. All right, the next one is okay, these are level three un unlockables. Um, so the next one is Choco Island 2. Okay. Well, I'm browsing. Remember to hit subscribe and like and all the things. Oh, yeah. And also check out uh, frenzyfans.com slash MVI for most valuable items. Hey, do you guys uh, participate in those uh, the surveys every week? Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. It's good for our help. So. Yeah, it's fun. I like seeing uh, like what people are using and so all that data. This is the third overlap with the Super Mario Kart glider. I would be using the banana parafoil, which well, is 450, but. But a level eight super trumps a six yeah. two high end totally. by a very small smidgy. Mm -hmm. A little smidgy, smidgy do? Small smidge, a little smidge. Oh, I do got some exciting news. I hit level 140, guys. Whoa! Congrats! <laughs> You're catching up That's to me. Huge. Coach <laughs> now. If it wasn't for that dare that we had during, uh, someone dared me to get at least ten levels during the city fest, and I was like, "Sure, I'll try this." And I got like eight levels, but it was horrible. I don't know how you guys do that. I don't know how they do it either. All right. Um, the next track is 
uh, Remix Rainbow Road 1R. Remix Rainbow Road 1. Wait, that's one. Sorry. No worries. It's it's the last cup. Have you guys seen how much I've played this tour? (laughs) You should do your ACP. (laughs) (laughs) Go with him. Go with her. Oh, okay. Seven seven hundred. It's beautiful. Okay, so Rainbow Road one on. Okay, next up are the level six unlockables. Okay. Uh, so the next one is Ghost Valley One RT, which is this week's ranked. Ghost Valley One RT. Strawberry donut. So, so far at level six, it only helps me on one, right? Um, so far, yes, but okay. I could be wrong. Um, the next one is Sky Garden, the regular. That was, that was... I think that's a uh, Monty Moon. Okay, I'm gonna go tell me if you guys see it. Just Sky Garden regular. Yeah, there it is. Okay, got Volandom. Jukebox with buggy and well, it's not even that oh. one. It's uh, that pretty little thing. Eight bit super mushroom. Okay, so let's see. That's a level eight unlock. Is that right? Um, no, the level eight unlock is the Piranha Plant Slide R. So we could do that if you want. I mean, that sounds. But then you have to take it to eight. At which point, it would then pretty much be <laughs> your best yeah. water you yeah would, yeah which kind of isn't the the purpose of the exercise well, what's the purpose of the exercise to exercise to see what to see if it's even six worth it. left to see if it's if it's worth it to take it to seven or eight well so. it's, even if it's worth it to buy it i don't like i haven't purchased it yet right <laughs> well, that's what we're trying yeah. to figure out you'd have yeah. to buy it and then take okay. it. okay so it would help me on this course because this course is weak sauce weak sauce okay so, yeah. but I did but, notice that hold on. in two of the tracks that we were talking about, you had the Sakura Origami Glider that could be potentially used out of the tracks of the 8-bit. And you notice here how two of the three gliders were actually only available in packs? So this is going back to your thing where you're like, yeah, I'll yeah. go ahead and buy it so that when it does, when I do need it, granted, the R version isn't in ranked at all, yeah. but this is one of those instances where it's, very paywalled, yep. but you've got a lot of like level one. Totally. Yeah. So, um, let's see. So the only thing that will make this useful for that eight bit one up. Um, Wait, did I buy yeah. this one or was this one in a pipe? No, nope. I bought it. You bought it. Yeah. Shame. <laughs> I'll, I'll go. So here's the thing. If you take it to seven double slap, it will help you with one, two, three, four, five, six, if you unlock it at eight. So it'll help you at roughly six tracks. Whereas the other ones, it's already overlap. So I don't think it's worth. Yeah. Because the thing with it too is like, if we're talking about like ticket allocation, right? Like I had that Super Mario Glider one at level four already. If I were to level, let's, I, I don't know the overlap because I don't have a savant mind like a lot of you guys do. But if we have, like, if I were to take that one, let's say to like level six and then the Sakura one to level six, it'd probably give me way better coverage than taking one glider. Mm-hmm. So both of those from like four to six would be way better coverage than like one from zero to six, right? Mm-hmm. Now, what's the buff possibility on it? Like, am I going to regret this like two tours down the road when I'm in a situation like I am with all level It's going to get buffed. It's going to get some yeah. decent buffs, but it, it, you might also get those buffs with something else too. So that's that's the that's the gamble that you know. Generally, anything in a pack is going to get it's going to get its love. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'd be willing to bet since the Tulip Corsage came out last tour. And this eight oh, bit right. one. Oh, was it two tours? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
fairly close, right? Because last tour, I don't think there was a glider that you could buy out of a pack. That was the only way to get it. So point being is they're really, really close in generation. So there's a good likelihood that in the future, probably yeah. both yes. of these are going to get very similar. But and especially with this beach celebration, summer celebration, flowers, you know, yeah, <laughs> it looks nice, pretty. Yeah. More than this one up mushroom flopping around. <laughs> so what do you think you're going to do? You think you're going to hold off on it or you think you're going to? I mean, I'll probably hold off because it doesn't help me out at all. So let me ask this. How okay. often do you use the Bam and Gerbs tracker? Not okay. So I've, to be honest, like I only truly used it when I was going for ACR. Mm. I need to catch up, but that's just been like the mentality I've had towards the game lately. Like, once you get savvy with that, you can do some cool filtering, and then it will show you like, if you took these gliders up, these are your best bets because here's all the tracks that you will gain. Yeah. So what I do is I literally filter out, you know, you filter out the cities, and then I filter out all the um 89s and above anything that has a score 89 and above i just filter them out and then i'm left with everything else and then you can look across the whole bar spectrum look in the bottom and see the green numbers yeah. and they'll be like red and green and greener than green and then super green and then oh my god that's really green and it's yeah. telling you this is the one that you should level up okay no i'm to the point where i need to because here's the thing is like i am a huge proponent like i understand like data is king like it'll help you make the best decisions right like i full-heartedly believe that but the interesting thing is i feel like at least with my account i've been able to like skate by meaning like in this busy time of my life i've been able to put in kind of minimal effort and still like progress my account until mm -hmm. i hit tier 74. the minute i hit tiers or Wait, is it tier? Yeah, mm -hmm. tier. Yeah, the yeah. minute I hit is tier seventy four, life has been hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> not like, but you know what I mean. Like, my rank, like, er, I feel like every rank is challenging for me right now, and it's it's one because I have like put the brakes on like investing some. Now some I go all in, like right, get Gekshi and Volendam I took up right away. Like I'm still spending tickets, but I've kind of hit this weird funk with my account right now where it's making it so i actually have to do bam and gerbs again to figure out mm -hmm. how to progress so but it's so okay so between you and me i can be lazy with it where like as long as i'm getting like top three and not having to think too hard about it like i th i feel like okay so my account ebbs and flows there's several like a huge chunk of time i was able to just do the frenzy fan calculator and be like oh it only takes two tickets and i'll be able to get top three i'll do mm -hmm. that I feel like I'm not in that phase right now and I'm desperately needing to figure it out. So, yeah. So to that point though, I think that if you were to have, if the um, like one up glider were like a triple or a quadruple feature in ranked this tour. I would have just done and it already. covered yeah. courses that you only had at like level one or level two. Yeah. Then See, that's, yeah, you would have purchased it. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the strategy that serves me like 90% of the time, but I feel like my account's just in a funk right now. I'm in like 10% like of the time, which is totally natural. Like it happens to all of us. And I just need to figure it out. Cause yeah, like it, last it, week- It could be two Sky Garden, but there's two Sky Gardens, which is good, but two tracks is just not enough for me to, you know, throw some cash at. Right. Yeah, and I've, I, my, my account's totally like, my weaknesses right now is I've been investing. I mean, you can see it from my tickets. I've been investing in drivers, but I have not been investing in cards or gliders, right? Like I have 28 glider tickets. Like yeah. I have, I have the resources to do what I want to do. Um, I can't wait to start saving high end tickets because <laughs> I've just been using them for ACR. So, well, that's well, the ACR, the tickets suck. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even rank can be a ticket suck, but lately I just have had this attitude of like, it is what it is. I don't want to invest 15 tickets, right? Even though I have them, I could. So I don't know. And for some reason, I, know, I don't know if it's been mentioned yet, but tier 74 seems to be like this all out war zone. Because yeah. once you break out of that, like I just hit, but I'm in tier 77 now, I think. Yeah, 77. And it's like, 
walking down a leisurely stroll like okay guys where y'all hiding at you know come on at me the 74 was just like walking through the jungles of you know nam <laughs> so i feel like my account did this too when i was around like level 55 before they upped it to lo like level 80 right or tier 80. um when i was at tier 55 it was, it was kind of a similar thing but the strange not, it's not strange it makes sense it is what it is but at tier 74 my competition half the time is harder than your competition at 79 and 80 at 79 and 80 yeah. like last week i your before your person like really jumped up what was your first place at uh 113. yeah and my first place it was at 115 just from the get-go like i just knew like there's not a shot in hades that i'll be able to pull us off so i don't know well actually ever since um I mean, lately, these past couple of weeks for ranked, tier 80 has been relatively easy. Like, it hasn't been that competitive. I think ever since, um, what was it? I think ever since the first time we were going to tier 80, we were going to start getting really competitive. But after that, it's it's been decreasing. Like, I've had very easy opponents. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm at 72 right now. So I think the highest, how do I see what the highest one? Player info? Player info. Oh, so 73 is the highest I've gotten. Anyways, I thought I was at 74, but I lied. Anyways, but I feel like I, I feel like I do this constantly constant thing where I go up to 73 and I drop down to 71 and I finally get back up and then I drop and it's just like tug of war right now. Which is fine. Yeah. But look how cute he is. I mean, this is what's really important. <laughs> <laughs> Frenzy fanboy, you better watch out. <laughs> I look way more intimidating than I am. <laughs> we, we got a member in PD that is all about the Yoshis. He's got all the Yoshis maxed. Does he? Yes. Fun. Even That's the blue fun. and red and light purple and fuchsia. I think he's got most of them maxed, but there's a couple that he just needs more super tickets for. But mm -hmm. yeah. But for the most part, his top eight is just the Yoshis. And it's, they're all eight, 1400. Okay. Even, even the reindeer one. <laughs> Reindeer Yosh. Yeah. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do about rank this week. I think I'll be able to get first if I do a couple smart investments, but. Um, how that's, first that's, that's dead. What was that? Oh, no, go ahead. Oh, no, that's, that's the key. It's like you, you, you're trying to figure out what investment is the one to pull the trigger on. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Anyways. Taking pipe cart all the way is not a bad idea it's a big card everybody loves big cards and it's gonna get a lot of buffs i might do that I, especially since it was that was such a painful pipe i think that will make me have fonder memories and, of it and then and then it comes back to like one of my tidbits in uh, uh, uh stud fits uh card talk like like if you pull for something invest in it like oh, because sure. if, you, if you pull for something and it sits on the bench then you just threw rubies in the toilet you know yeah or if you buy a pack and you don't take it up, but you know, everybody's got different ways of playing. But like for me, if I buy a pack, especially the four dollar one, like I'm gonna take that thing up. Like yeah. I bought it, it's going all the way and I'm not gonna look back and I'll make it work. Cause you know what, if you take it higher then it's the best thing in your account, right? Yeah, yeah. no, I have the same philosophy. If I pull for something or buy for something and the, the caveat is, and it helps me in ranked. Then, yes. I'll, then I'll take it to level four right away. So like yes. this guy right here is definitely going to at least level four this tour. I just need to figure out how high I want him to go. I'm kind so, of like just sitting back a tiny bit and just seeing what happens with my rank. I feel like each week my rank jumps by like 15 to 20,000 like overnight. So I just don't want to go all in if it's not possible right now. So but, how's a first place like with their loadouts? Take a look. See if you can beat them. It also sounds like we need to have a tracker session with Cart um, as a Frenzy fans feature. Yeah. yeah, we definitely should. Um, they have pretty good loadouts. Cool. And by so, really good, yeah. I mean, the Ghost Valley, he can definitely you know go up higher with that eight three. I mean, he's got a lot of level eight so he's got potential yeah i feel like he yeah. has more potential than he's been playing so same with the last track you can easily yeah. get yeah i mean depends on how good he is yeah 
Natural. Yeah, same thing with that one. Yeah, and for me, I'll do, let's look at my loadouts really quick. So, and I don't mind investing um, in some of these just because it's not a horrible week to do it. And, the, and there are things that I've been waiting for, right? So like, I would love an excuse to take the crawly cart higher. Um, oh, it's in half level land. It's in half too. level land right now, right? <laughs> so we have a don't six. You have, don't oh. you have ninja? Ninja shy guy? Yes. You just barely got him, didn't I you? I just barely got him. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. Well, Wait, you don't he have might be, He might be level six unlocked then. Oh, probably. First one. Oh, on this one? Let's see here. No ninja? Where's what? ninja? <laughs> I don't think I have ninja. Yeah, what? what? Like in the game. He's taking a nap. Go to the top. Oh my god. Top. What? What's happening? Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's yeah. way down there. <laughs> yeah, I don't have ninja. <laughs> I don't no, have no ninja. No. Nope. Well, there's still time in the special pipe. You got a couple hours left. Do you want ninja? Yeah, cool. Cool. Guys, Let's have cool. Rubies. No. <laughs> but you could buy the uh, one up, 8 bit yeah. one up. Because he helps that, me so much. If you no, buy I that am three so... times, you can drain him. What was that? Oh, no. I was saying if you buy that 8 bit one up three times, then you can drain it in the special pipe. <laughs> if I were to buy. I don't know. No, no, no. Sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> Just because I don't think, I mean, I don't think he does anything for me. And he's a boomerang. Like he may not. And he's yes. a boomerang driver, right? Like, yeah. you already have a level six single slapped coin box around that course. Yeah. So and it doesn't. To... So well, I mean, for you to compete, you'd have to double slap him. And honestly, gold bones is probably not worth it anymore. But yeah. Because he is itty bitty, teeny weeny, yellow poke about bikini. Right. So this one I'll have a 644. And then I just feel like my loadouts lately, like they're they're okay. They're just not like, they're not scary like I want them to be. And this one I'll have a 768. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll have to use the calculator and figure it well, out. That's what I'm floating with right there. And I got 37K. Right? Yeah, and I've only played each one of these like once or twice, so this is definitely- So you can probably get 37K on that one with that loadout, because that's kind of what I got. Okay. Uh, Piranha Plant Slide T, go to that one again. What are you looking at with that? It will be a uh, 644. But- I mean, doesn't Wonderful Wings do? I mean, how many glider tickets do you have? Enough. I have uh, 28. Yeah, that's cool. quite a lot. Like Yeah. And then that one's what? halfway land, so that would only take one ticket or whatever. If I, if I had to choose, like I would do Wonderful Wings. Yeah. Because it, it's really great on my account. That, that, I mean, especially the amount of coverage that thing has right now, it is insane. Yeah, it keeps getting buffs every tour, so I pull the trigger on it. <laughs> How do you feel about the Friends of Hand Boy? Well, we all can Most valuable him. item in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there was a certain stream where we all convinced him to take him to eight. And then he's like, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> I, just, I don't own it, so, but I have coverage of the ways. So it just, even if I did get it, it's dead to me. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's the cool thing about this game like you know like when it's the number one item in the game which is great but i filled that same hole with you know three other four other uh gliders yeah oh and we're leveling Ooh. stuff up all right let's go well yeah bada boom bada bing. i didn't mean to do that one <laughs> <laughs> oh no i did the cheap cheap charger <laughs> no i definitely want to take this I, I know for sure i'm taking this one up to level four cost me a lot of rubies you know what why just do level four just commit yeah just do, do six it. I'm actually so, okay with that. So, Not in an impulsive so. way, but I feel like I feel like this is okay for me in my account. I haven't done the calculator. This is the only thing is normally I would do the calculator prior to doing this, but I need like whenever a ranked track pops up where I'm suffering, it typically like is indi indicated that that cart is what's going to help me like over the next couple of weeks and some stuff if it's brand new. 
And another thing to point out is that this Piranha pipe is actually cup boosted. So technically, it's not a top shelf card. So it's actually giving us a huge advantage of, of the cup boosted. So I would take advantage of it. And like, I literally just love this card. I think it's one of the coolest, like unique ones in the game. So it sounds like you got five more taps in your finger. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of tickets. Is it only used this once in rank, though? Yes. It's not. You're not going to use it in the other two courses. Um, I don't think. Well, hold on. What other one is it in? Um, so. Oh. I mean, oh, I would wait, use wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. At six, I would use it over the crawly cart. Yeah. So that's two for one. Yeah. There's your double There's, feature. There's your double feature. And then. Did, would you use it in Mario Circuit? Oh, triple feature! Well, it's tied, so is it go really? To, go to eight! Eight <laughs> triple! You think so? Well, how many tickets would I talk cost? I don't uh, have that many. Do it. Ooh. Come on. But Did at level seven, with... but at level seven, it's a triple feature. All right, this is this is this is track chat, not peer uh, pressure chat. <laughs> but here's okay. So here's my here's my question. Okay, legit. <laughs> <laughs> frenzy fangirl, frenzy fangirl. <laughs> okay, it takes. I wouldn't five spend it. What was that? I wouldn't spend it because it's going to naturally oh. happen. Okay, this wait, 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 wait. is an old card, so I wouldn't invest it. If you take it to six and double slap, though, then you will use it three times because yeah, it's just six and single. Okay, you don't have to take it to eight, six, and double six slap. And double. Yeah, well, so what about level that's seven? That's the golden rule. You could do that seven. Take five more, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I would. Well, now listen, before you get crazy, right? <laughs> I think before I get crazy, I need to actually do the calculator and see if that yes, would actually change yes, my yes. rate. Because a, a level seven is going to get you what at most what seven, a thousand points per track. So I mean, if it, if you can push yourself over, then yes. And, but I'm okay even, with this investment because I need some. I need some. I, okay, so this is the behavior I did with the Dark Hop Rod, where I got it right away and I invested in it right away. And like Jeeves and I have this ongoing thing where like we razz each other about it. One, I think it's an actual, like the color combination is absolutely beautiful. I love it. But um, because I did that and because like, as you can see, like I'm not a whale, so I don't go all in on everything. It has been so powerful for my account. From so the Dark Hop Rod? Yeah. Yeah. So you have enough to take that Piranha Pipes to eight, so. I don't think I want to do that though. I think that's a little, that's a little scary. That's, that bite, that's that so eats scary, my reserves. Well, scary. to be fair, I mean, next tour is going to be cart tickets. So you have going to get more cart tickets. So <laughs> you can replenish that. That's true. We'll see, but, 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 but going back to the original point, I'm yeah. okay taking it to level six because that will help me out like massively in the future and I'm not scared about that. But level eight really does come down to like, does it help me? Will that actually get me further in ranked? Now, if I go and look at the calculator and it says that, hey, if you get this to level eight, you're guaranteed first, great, I'll do it because now is the time to do it as a triple feature. But if I go to the calculator and it says, Hey, if you take it to level eight, it's going to take you from fifth to fourth. Like, I won't. Right? Yeah, makes sense. Or if it'll only get me in seconds, like, I don't need to waste my time with that. Well, you better make a huge announcement if you take it to eight. I will. <laughs> I'm sure you'll hear. You guys hear about everything I take to level eight. Genshi and the dark hop rod. I talk about them all the time. <laughs> now, should I triple uncap it? No. Not yes. Okay, not a six. <laughs> if you take it to seven, then yeah. But yes, six. Okay. I reserve triple slapping for level sevens. Okay. Seven and eight. Mm -hmm. Unless it's Ice Mario, then I don't even touch it. <laughs> What's an Ice Mario? Never heard of it. It's the one that he triple capped at level one. It's a type of popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> popsicle. Okay. I think I got I think I got Metal Mario to level seven this tour out of the ACP and he's level seven eight hundred. Guys, I only have two hundred and forty six <laughs> tickets left. No. It's scary. It's scary. Just kidding. Cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. We'll see. We'll play with the calculator and see. Because now that's a triple feature, right? All like, right. So now let's let's go back to your first original lineup, right? Okay. So go to Ghost Valley. Okay, hold on. Let me stop playing with my chapstick. It's like my fidget spinner. 
just want to make sure I'm not being silly over here. Okay. All right. So, guys, I, I was mean, so Koopa, excited to take the crawly card up. So you got a solid thing. If you do, you're, you're gonna have to double on cap gold bones if you want to survive. I might do that. He's also just like super cute. <laughs> And that's how we base all decisions, right? I mean, he's one of the oldest coin boxers in the game that still gets love. Um, like, you don't see Hakama popping up nearly as much, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So okay, let's you, do that. You went for it. Okay, we're committed. Okay. I'm less scared to do that than I am to take him to level seven right now because I still have twenty eight of those. No, you're gonna, you'll get more of him through some gold pipe in the future around a corner. So yeah. Okay, I only, so I, I, right, go ahead. No, I only like if it, on a new item. If I'm feeling real bullish on or whatever the right terminology is, then I'll use I'll I'll go to seven, and I only did that with one, which was Pinja. But especially for this guy and any other ones, I mean, I'll let the game just take it to seven. Yeah, and then um, I only will take it to seven if it's like two away. After I let the game and it's now useful. Okay, two tickets, no, not a big deal. But with your B Dasher situation, he's gonna come around. And he's also in the in the uh, daily select shop too, isn't it? B Dasher. I think mm, so. Could be. Yep, the red B dasher. Okay. Original. Okay. He's so close that I'm just going to drive him a couple times to get him there. So FFG. Hey, that's uh, me. <laughs> okay, so let me see your loadouts really quick for the first track. All right. Are you doing my calculator for me? Maybe. Because you appreciate it. Maybe. You love me. <laughs> What's your player level at? Like 152? 152. I may have gotten to 153. Let's look. Nope, 152. I'm almost to 153. Okay, so um, based on the calculator, you will get 35,415. Okay, cool. So now let's go to Piranha Plant Slide. Yeah, but that track is not exactly a lovely coin box track. It's better than Mario 2RT, though. Mario 2RT is nasty for coin box. It is. It's really bad for coin box. Okay, with this loadout, what will I get? Because I'm glad we're doing the calculator right now. I was just too lazy to actually pull it up right the second. Um, okay, let me do that right now. Because I don't mind investing in the wonderful wings. Like, they're really cool. They're really wonderful. They're pretty wonderful. And their obstruction box is zero. I love it. You don't like, you talk about obstruction a lot with uh, gliders and everything, but like just in life in general, you don't like anything obstructing your view. It's dangerous. Um, sorry, really quick. For first place points, how, how many points were you getting first? For player level 152? Should be like 6,040. So uh, go back, Lindsay Van Gogh. Okay. Uh, 6,020. So click on that little icon that says I, like right next to like player level 152. Oh, sorry. No worries. I clicked on the wrong I. That's right, it's 10 points after level 150, right? Okay, 6,030. No. Oh, so for 153 is 6030, but oh, okay. yes. 152 60, is 20. Okay, so based on the this, this second track, you'll get 44,775. Does that force me to get like a double boom box though? Yeah, how many actions is that? Is that 250? 245. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that, let's let's put that on a 200, yeah, just, just for conservative sake. I, that, that, that should be fairly attainable. Let's drop that down to 200. <laughs> 200, that'll be 41,895. Okay, I'm yes. good with that. That track is really easy to get an easy like 250, mm -hmm. 220 on. Okay. It's really easy. We'll just see how many hours I want to put into it, right? Okay, so 152. I look more scary now than I did a couple minutes ago. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm so saying, happy you did that to the pipe cart. I love the pipe cart. I was planning on leveling it up. Like I was just waiting for this chat to figure out what the heck I was going to do. That's really good. I like that. Okay, uh, so let me look at the celebratory pat in the back. Right. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you right. did good. <laughs> 595. Okay, we're using super. That's level 8, 450. 
So assuming you get so 180 actions, your ideal goal for that track. So unless you get 80, is that realistic yeah. for me? No. no. Are we talking? Okay. 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 So put in like 140. <laughs> give Give me like uh in like the 80 to 85 percent action count. None of this 100 ceiling make me cry and feel depressed action count. Hero, I'm not you. <laughs> so I put 140 for that okay. track. So you would get 35,275. Good. Now we're talking realism. And <laughs> what, what, what's, what's the action count in Ghost Valley? Oh, it's 145. So I should lower that to maybe 130. Maybe 120. No. 20. No. You, you... I can do more. Yeah. 130? We can go 130. I mean, Boombox and Coin was 155. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. For Ghost Valley, it'll be 32,670. So 10,000 there, and then 20,000 there. So that's 30,000 more points, and then probably... So you're looking at, what, a gain of like 38,000? 37,000? Okay, so let's see what that, that would place you in. Drum roll. Wait, how many points is that that I'd get total? Uh, 37,000 extra. Wait, so what's my total score that it's projecting? So 37. Oh, sorry. Plus 75. So 75 plus 37. One. Four and 12. One, yeah. Well, you're saying I have a chance. Well, this guy, he could uh, actually yeah. kill me, but okay. Okay. But your loadouts are definitely more competitive. competitive now. I mean, he does have gold dry bones at eight and triple. Okay, let's do this really quick here. I'm just curious. Okay. Mm -hmm. But okay. Your, your Volendam on the course that has the most action counts is higher than his. So yeah. I think You're there's going to be more give and take. Okay. So here's my question for you. So the total mm -hmm. score I can get right now is what, 112 with our current loadouts? Uh, let me see. And I know I'm oh, sorry. Predicted score is 109,840. 109. Okay. Okay. Wait, hold on. What? 109 what? 109,840. Okay. Now change my cart to level seven on all of them. Yeah. I knew it. I was going to, I read your mind. If yeah. You I assumed you did. Okay. So, so that'd be 112. Okay, so every so if you put the cards at seven, yeah, it'll be one twelve thousand six hundred sixty. Okay. See, in this scenario, like I like this. Like I like the fact that right now, by taking the, because normally I would have done the calculator before I did it, but I just am feeling like I wanted to do it. So the nice thing is, is right now, like taking the green cart. If nobody does anything else, I get first. But if someone does like bump up another five thousand taking it to level seven, which isn't a horrible investment long-term, will clinch me first. If, you know, if they only increase by like 5,000. If FFG decides to level up that Piranha Pipes to eight, you get another extra 3K. So you, your score will be at 115,480. Okay. That's awesome. I just don't think taking it to level eight is worth it right now. No. Yeah. It's such a huge investment and it like literally takes my tickets and that's not how I typically play. So it even is. seven's scary, but that's just me. Yeah. yeah, no, a seven's gonna be one of those and not even emotional decisions, but like if let, let's say hypothetically I am at I don't know. It it, it then depends, right? So let's say hypothetically I'm at nobody does any better and I can only get one oh five eight, right? And I'm four hundred short. That's not gonna be the case. But let's say hypothetically I'm just 400 short from first. Then the question is, do I take that cart to level seven, save me a bunch of time and guarantee first because it's easy to do at that point, point in time? Or do I then take like dry bones up to level seven with just two tickets or three tickets or whatever it was? Yeah, that's a Tuesday decision. Yeah, so, but it gives me the freedom to make those decisions later. Yeah. So looking at this guy's score, I don't think he's gonna bump up Mario Circuit much more. I think he's probably going to leave that. Okay. Um, Ghost Valley, it's a tough track. He might be happy with his score. So his only one he's going to play with is going to be Piranha Planet Slide. Okay. 
that's just my gut feeling if I'm just going to reverse engineer people's thought processes. Yeah. And maybe it's a girl. So um, let's not like have all these gender biases going on. <laughs> Oh my god. Queen King Sue. Well, I, all I saw was King S because your face was covering up the rest of it. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, by the way. P.S. I'm just razzing you. Um, does this person have the me suit? The astronomy? Good... Yeah. Because oh. he might, or it might not want to go for it. Yeah, because if that person doesn't have it, then I think it's going to go really competitive. Oh my god. This per- okay, there we go. Oh, because are they are they in tier seventy nine? They don't have it. Oh, they don't. Okay, so they're gonna go for it probably. Oh, the piranha. Sorry. Yeah. Tier are they in? The thing is, is they they don't have a lot of me suits though. Seventy one. Do they have PD? Do they pull for PD? No, I didn't see PD down there. Let's double check. So this might not be like something that interests them. Oh. They did pull, but haven't they played. Okay. Mm-hmm. Might have been like a freebie or something like that. Hey, we pretty much have the same me loadouts. <laughs> Wait, is this yours? No, this is his. Oh, okay. Yeah. Except I have Yoshi and I don't have DK. Okay. So again, either this person will go all in to get that PD suit or they won't. Yeah. So. And who knows if they're even my biggest threat. <laughs> this guy's a top thousand ACR person. And with Chef Rosalina recently. What do they have for their driver on Prana Plant Slide? Is it really just Golf Mario? Kind of have a hard time believing that. Do they have Volendam? Mario. Oh. Yo, Chef Rosa. It has two Mario. No, no Volendam. No Volendam, so that's good. Do they have a Dr. Bowser? Oh! <gasps> Where? Down at the bottom. Oh, yeah, because he's a baddie. Nope. Do they okay. pull for Dr. Mario? But not, no, they don't have Dr. Mario either. Yeah. No big meat, Pete. And they might. Uh, see, they're collecting more me's than I am. And I think he goes for them because he has all. <laughs> that were first placers. Okay, what do they have? Are you still on his account, their account? Yeah. Go to White Birdo. Wordo? No. Uh, Peach Happy? Oh, they have Peach Happy at 4 980. So we'll be using... Oh, wait, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, it's Peach... What is this? Ducata. Sorry, Peach Ducata. Where is she? Mm. Yeah, very good with all the peach placements. Very top, maybe? Okay. Better? Oh, that's kimono. No, peach you kind of more towards the bottom. Right there. Oh, she's no, they, they, don't, they, don't, they have don't have it. Doesn't have it? Okay. No, it's the one with the boo hair clip. And what about uh, Builder Toad? Do they have Builder Toad? I have Builder Toad. Wait, no, that's Penguin Toad, sorry. There's Builder Toadette, where's Builder Toad? Go up. Go, go up? Go up. Build build that came out and way what? after. Oh wait, no, that's- Right there, that's level one. Oh, one and 536. Okay, so they have two level one drivers. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you've got the level six, so this person, they're, you're not gonna okay. worry about them. Cool. So you'll say not have a chance. It's great. <laughs> what you Looks need like to Sammy decide is bed. what yes. if you're gonna do anything with making it level seven, which that's up to you. You kind of got to make that decision quickly because then you got to start picking up picking tracks that you want to race first and get it done with. Right. So yeah. if you could take it to level seven, it all comes down to how bad you want to win and how bad you want the the peep me suit, the big peep me suit. I mean, I kind of want to win just because I'm tired of taking twelfth. I've had like a 12th week and an 8th week in the past two tours. And and granted, busiest time of my life right now, like moving and business, like it's just crazy, but I'm ready for a win. My soul needs it. As per hero's statement, you'll get the, you'll recoup five of the cart, a bunch of the cart talks next, uh, cart tickets next week. Yeah. Yeah. 
or yeah, next tour. I still haven't. I mean, oh, there's not one in this, but like, I haven't cleared anything yet. So, are there any cart tickets available this week? Mm, only to your shop. So there's one right here. Which we can just snag. Okay. Does that make you feel better? Yeah, it does. <laughs> 11, 11K. Just like that. Yeah, but we also have, um, cause with all the time in the world that I have right now, we can recoup some with <laughs> the coin. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm jealous. You do you ever like? Do you wait for like what I do? Is like I have a lot too, but not that many. But I wait to a good track that's easily attainable, a good chunk of coin, and then I just kind of like go through like ten to twelve of them. No, I don't. Do you even that. do that? Okay. I just wait till I need coins, and then I'll go yeah. through however many I need to to get the coins that I need. Which was more of a thing when level eight wasn't in our lives. Yeah, I haven't I haven't been this low on coins in a long time, but it's also because I have not been getting my 600 coins every day. Well, I'll be very interested in watching your progress this week. Thanks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially uh, my fan, uh, my friend list. So I'll be keeping tabs on you. They keep tabs on me. I'll actually grind. And I think this weekend, this is going to be our first weekend in a long time where we actually have time to do anything. As your brother's coming into town tomorrow for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. Do you forget about that? <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> we'll have time where we're just like sitting around hanging out and stuff. And he's like, <laughs> okay. Maybe we can watch you grind the VC. We do yoga a lot together when we're like, we're together. So I'll just take my phone to the yoga mat. <laughs> <and be> like, <laughs> we'll be meditating and I'll be like, <laughs> It'll be great. No, I'll make time for it. And he leaves like Saturday night okay. or Sunday morning. So I have like Sunday night. Okay. We'll be fine. There you go. Well, yeah. This was a great strat chat for Frenzy Fangirl. Yeah. yeah hey, was. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I needed I needed it. Yeah. This was kind of your uh, your emotional group that you've been my, wanting to have for this tour. My pity pity party, guys. Thanks. <laughs> the, the emotional support group that you were, you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Now we got to do a, a BGR like sit down sesh so you can focus your tickets. We should do that sometime because I, I need to. I need to. It's like anything in life, right? Like whatever you put your focus on yeah. will actually grow. And so right now, I said this earlier, but basically I've been able to like slide through and enjoy the game and constantly like at least feel like I'm being successful in the game, mainly because level 80 wasn't an objective of mine. So I've been feeling good until the past two tours. So I need okay, I, might, I might hit level 80 before target. My anticipation date was uh, the three year anniversary, but I'm like one tour away. That's amazing. Congrats. So if I, it, uh, providing I top three this week, which I think I should, because the gap just 130, 123. And then I think 105 is the next person. So okay. too late for like hero. So yeah. not to like hog the entire meeting, but what do you think? Oh, no, that's okay. Um, I just have a uh, it's, all clear pipe to do, so we can keep on chatting. Also, it's late for being pipe. Brolo too. <laughs> Well, he's on vacation for three days. I was gonna say I was more concerned about Hero's well-being than yours, but not only because you're on vacation. Where's Hero? Okay. He's in South Carolina now. Oh, well, not South Carolina, but sure, in the South. North Carolina. Wait, where are you? North Carolina, right? Yes. Yeah. John Boy's in South Carolina. I always mm -hmm. get that mixed up. I'm pretty much in the middle between John Boy and stuff, so that's cool. Oh. It was a butt shot. Did you see that? I got I got Petey's butt shot <laughs> in his speedo. Wow, wow, wow. Petey is cute though. Wait, wait a minute. Are we gonna pull for the token pipe? Um, uh, I wasn't planning on it, but I guess we could. Yeah. Pipe pulls. Just as long as my account doesn't uh, get on the fritz. You'll oh. be fine. You'll, you'll be fine, man. Are you on right. Wi-Fi or are you on your? I'm on network. Okay. Okay, fake gold, fake gold. Let's and go. And lost Big Brolo. It's okay. Well, He's I can't do my all clear pipe without Big Brolo. Oh, Big Brolo. Like I need, I need his vibes. 
Okay. Fake gold. Fake gold. I'm not wearing my hat. Hold on. Okay. Everybody touch your head. That's what we do as grown adults. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, cool. that's actually nice for you. Yeah, I should have bought that in the tear shop when it was around last week or the week before. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, look at that, though. Steel driver. I actually use that Thanks. on uh, like a good handful of courses. Cool. So should we do, is it bedtime for everyone or should we do some token token pulls? What's in with some token? Well, okay. I What's should, well, token? You got more tokens than I do. Well, how many pipes have you pulled though? None. Oh. <laughs> I clear out all the stuff first and then I save for the token pipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I typically do too. All right. But I also have the advantage of letting my phone do auto click, so. I need your program still. Do you have Android? I do. And actually I can okay. legitimately do it because my phone, my phone's been kind of slow lately and I ordered a new one. Oh. It just showed up today. Hey. Oh shoot. Touch anything we want. We want to. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> we hide the boobies. This is the danger zone right here. All right. Don't See, there you go. You're good. Anything. Anyways, it's because I was on a tangent. I just bought a new phone. It just showed up at my sister's house today, which is honestly one of the reasons why I wanted to drive an hour to see her because I needed to get my new phone because we don't have a mailing address. So I'm just shipping things mm. to her if I need things. So now I could put my old phone on auto clicker and actually, oh! oh, we need that emoji. I'm posting that. That's the face we do with my nephew. He calls it our surprise face. <laughs> did you guys saw my, did you guys saw my torchy torch emoji? <laughs> did you see the picture that he wants an emoji of? The one, was it the one that was in um the thumbnail? And we need a PD emoji. I'm sorry, guys. I have been slacking. I'll make one tonight. You guys don't have to, but I just figured like. Oh, no, I will. You better believe it. I will. <gasps> Be fairly, fairly quiet. <laughs> don't touch anything. <laughs> the last the last token pipe I got like. Um, like almost 35 rubies out of it really yeah that's cool. i got two 10 rubies and then a bunch of threes okay while he's pulling um pipes i will make you a pd emoji nice put it in the discord like right as we go awesome let me just find a good shot of him that I have. Okay, red kitty cart. Well, at least give him 45 rubies. Right? Instead of three rubies. All of YouTube is watching. Come on. I did get my normal cards cleared out. Did, did you? you? Nice. Do you have your gliders already? Um, uh, gold glider is going to be is the one that I picked to eight. But what about your normal gliders? Do you have your normal gliders all maxed out already? Yes. Oh. The normal commons, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, so there isn't like the delineation in the in the normals anymore. Like you have to get all of them. Yeah, all of them are done. All okay. Whatever. Yeah. Because you know how there used to be like premium commons yes. and like normal commons, non-premium commons. The supers though, that's tough. There's eleven in there. Mm-hmm. You've had one gold so far. One gold so far. Man, this one is not treating me very good. Didn't G's get eight? Did he get nine. eight gold pipes? No, he had nine. He had nine, nine gold pipes. I think so. What? I feel like he would. You know? He's just the type. Nine's the highest I've seen. I've got seven once. Yeah, me too. I've had seven once. I also had zero. That was horrible.
one. Eh. I guess those ones kind of help. Yeah, for level eight. Eventually. Mm -hmm. like Come on. Right here. So many I'll green. Take, I'll take 31 of those times three, whatever cart boost or cart tickets. Uh huh. Question for you. If I like minimize zoom a little bit, it doesn't like mess anything up, right? I like just so. pop us over here for a second. And we're just really hot. Well, it was because my screen's really bright. I'll get us in a different application. I'm just a multitask. I just really want a PD thing, you know? You, you'll get coins. What was that? Oh, I said he, you'll get coins and that was right. <laughs> okay. okay. Now talk about high-end tickets for me, okay? Sure. Driver high-end tickets. Let me look. Uh... Go? Oh no, <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> I know what it is. I don't want to say it. No! How did you know? Because <laughs> your ruby count went up. Oh, oh, that's how you know. Smart. Smart cookie right there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Nothing. Parachute, okay. Come on, I'm gonna go. <sighs> Man, point boost tickets galore. Come on, come on. Oh, it's coins. Coins, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot though. Coins are good? Yeah. Come on, big bucks, big bucks. Oh, my goodness. So many greens. I have iron tickets, that's good. Well, I got a thousand, so not so much. This is our penultimate pipe. Oh my gosh. Come on, man. Item tickets for reals? I would do this. Last one. Come on, gold, please. End this off with the gold. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Well, it's got a gold background. Let's look at your Discord, though. Let's look let's look at what is important going on right now. Ooh. Look at all those PDs spamming in the Discords. I made a PD, PD emoji. Good job. PT. Yeah. There you go. There you go, hero. That's for you. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Well, this was fun. This was fun. It's been oh. too long. It was great yeah. to hang out with you guys and literally just chill. <laughs> like for the first hour and a half, maybe two hours, like no screens whatsoever. Right. <laughs> it was just us chatting, yeah. <laughs> which is great. You know, it can happen. Good time. Sorry that you only had one gold. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I don't uh, get my hopes up too much for those. Like. Yeah. I don't I don't put the goal to clear out those token pipes. It's just I kind of play and whatever tokens I get, it's just kind of like icing on the cake. Um, and it's not like I'm spending a whole lot of tickets anyway, right? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, once I go on a hiatus, there's no way I'm going to complete all those tokens. So <laughs> It's so hard. It is. It's so I think I've only hard. done it once. And it was during the tour where you got bonus points for like your team winning during that yep. that one. Totally, yeah, it was great. Everybody it was, was like it was like a tokens of plenty yeah. like every single race. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> I've cleared I out every single one of them. Yeah, you yeah. have. Yeah, from, from your auto clicker. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Amazing. So it's interesting to me though that you use the auto clicker for your um, your token pipes, but not for uh, your level EXP. Because you can use the uh, auto clicker for EXP. Because the auto clicker. So when I do the, so when I run the auto clicker for the tokens, I'm doing it on 50 CC. So if I do it on 150 CC, I lose EXP because I'm always finishing last. Gotcha. Because I did that mistake once when I was grinding for tokens. And I was like, I thought I was, I just lost 48, 40%. That's right. I remember you talking about that. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Hey, y'all. That is why. 
You just need to hire your son for like two bucks an hour to <laughs> grind on one track. I'll be too afraid because he'll like spend all my currency and then <laughs> <laughs> pull all your pipes. <laughs> like, Dad, I heard you really liked Ice Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I got it 14 times. <laughs> Aren't you proud? <laughs> And then my daughter, she loves Rosalina, and she likes the only the, which one is it? The uh, the Aurora, the Aurora Roz. Yeah. Mm. And she's leveled her up a few times. Oh. So. Without yeah. your permission. Yeah. Well, she didn't know what she was doing. She's like, "Oh, there's words. I don't know what that means." Slap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if I ever did that to your account? Oh boy. <laughs> Ew. Because no she boy, no. Playing Mario Kart, but she plays with the same three items that you know don't matter. It could be bottom shelf. She don't understand it, but she just got to play Aurora Roz, the one of the blue carts, and like one of the blue gliders. Well, that's how you play every other Mario Kart. You yeah. know, like on on a Wii, I would always pick Toad with uh, his little like motorbike, and then just whatever glider thingy, mm-hmm. and I would use that for every single race because it doesn't really matter in yeah. like the console games. You just use your. Your one set that you're used to, like you like how it handles and stuff. So I it's funny it. when I switch back to the console because I got the expansion, whatever, for the the new one. I haven't played the console one in such a long time, so like I picked up the controller. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, like this, the steering doesn't do what I wanted to do because I'm so used to my car tour. Yep. The, the, the 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 mini turbos don't work like they're supposed to do. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm horrible at console Mario Kart now. <laughs> yeah, I used to be really good at it, but not anymore. Yeah. It's always so disappointing where, like, if you actually miss a box, you're like, wait, I don't do that, <laughs> do that automatically? <laughs> yeah. Well, because in that game, like, if, if, a bo- if a bot or somebody drives through the box before you, they just don't take get it. it. Yeah. Yeah, they take it. Like, it's Sorry. so disappointing nowadays where yep. you're like, wait a minute, isn't there an invisible force field of boxes right here? It's like the box in the clamshells. Yep. Right. Yeah. Go for it, like you so a bit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, can we do a quick round of happy, grateful, made you thankful? If you can get it right, then maybe. Thankful, grateful, made you happy. There you go. Yay! There you go. Thanks, guys. Go ahead. Okay. You can start us off. I got a pedicure today. I'm very grateful for my pedicure. I really wanted my feet to be like all nice and clean and not like not that I have dirty feet, but you know what I mean? Like there's nothing better than a pedicure after you've been like working hard for three months and yeah. need a pedicure. So with your feet, it was really awkward. Are you working hard with your feet? <laughs> <laughs> I work really hard with my feet actually. Yeah. <laughs> he calls me monkey toes. Like they're pretty much like <laughs> fingers. <laughs> How about you guys? Uh, Hero, Big Brolo? So My, uh, I uh, found out that I don't have cancer. <gasps> Congrats! Whoa. That's a huge win. A huge yeah. grateful, thankful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Were you nervous for a little bit? You don't have to go to your Bible class. No, not too bad. No, it, they, they took a biopsy off some some chunk of my mouth. And since I was a heavy smoker in the past, I was a little concerned. But Yeah. Uh, okay. But no, I'm so happy. Okay. That makes me thrilled for you. Thank you. Congrats. And how's your uh, weight loss uh, journey going? You posted a picture with your whole entire family. By the way, <laughs> they're giving out trophies for like beautiful families. Yeah. Holy goodness. <laughs> Big Thanks. Rolo, you won. Like your family <laughs> is like hallmark postcard. <laughs> yeah. For reals. <laughs> like your kids are cute. Your wife's gorgeous. You're looking yeah. great. Yeah. And I, I hit like the lottery on the like there was a, a you guys were on like the shore with uh-huh. like a sunset and the exposure was just beautiful. I was like, we were, wow, we were at St. St. Pete's Beach, wow, Fun. down in Florida. So, no, it was a good time. Uh, weight loss, I'm still hanging around. I mean, I haven't lost any more weight, so okay. I kind of took a break for a little bit, but I've been trying to find the energy to get back out of the wagon. So, but yeah. I haven't gained any of the weight back either, so I've just been That's maintaining. Awesome. Good. So, Congrats. Yeah. Thanks. That's awesome. And Mr. Hero. Yeah, well, um, I guess the only thing I'm grateful for is the fact that Petey has come to Mario Kart Tour. And, um, you know, I I had a feeling he was going to be here at some point. You know, the moment when Kamek 
first came to Mario Kart Tour, I had a feeling they were going to bring original characters, so as well as Petey. And so I hope that um, this is a sign of more original characters coming. You know, for example, like Honey Queen, Wiggler, and so on and so forth. It, it will happen. Yeah. You know, hopefully next year. So yeah, that's the one thing I'm grateful for. I love it. Cool. And how about you? And we lost Big Brolo. Oh, boy. He'll come back. Yeah. Maybe. And if not, we love you, Big Brolo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what about you? Yeah, so we had the opportunity last night to be on Cart Talk. It was oh my goodness, that was so fun. Episode one of season two. It was amazing. And it was just a really good episode. Uh, Do us a favor, don't spoil it because I just watched the first hour of it. Okay, okay. Yeah, we yeah. won't spoil it. So it's we, won't, like, we won't spoil it. It's like the length of a Marvel Marvel movie. <laughs> We did the work. Yeah. So like yeah. by the time like the two hours was rolling around, yeah. there was like the chat on Zoom yeah. where people are like, I can keep going. We can keep going if you guys want. If yeah. you have more in the tank and we're like, yeah, let's all do it. And so yeah. we just kept on going. Yeah, it was wonderful. I, and I even told stuff that like do a three hour car talk episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't intended to be that way. It just evolved over time. It was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, it was great it was, conversation. It was a very, very good cart talk. And like right when he pressed stop recording, I told everyone I was like, I have goosebumps. It was like it was just a really good all around wholesome wholesome yeah. uh cart talk. It made me happy last night. Yeah. It, I, I felt I felt very good um about the, the conversation, the topics of conversation, and it felt good to have friends to mm -hmm. be able to have those conversations with for sure people that we haven't necessarily like met in the flesh mm -hmm. but are still comfortable enough um because we've we've interacted with them so much through yeah. this game that i feel like all of our friendships like got boosted to the next level last night. i think totally. i think that's where that feeling came from of yeah. like wow like yeah. that was just really cool yeah it was um, fun so yeah it was really cool I hope you like it. And if you guys haven't watched it yet, go subscribe or go check it out. Cart Talk Stuff It's channel. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So thanks everyone for joining us for this extended version of uh, Strat Chat yeah. slash a little bit of pipe poles yeah. and just frenzy fan fun, you know? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and until the next episode, may the frenzies be forever in your favor. See you guys later. Bye, yeah. Big Brolo, wherever you are. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> cool.